Now that we've got the hood open like this, let's actually talk about belt technology and how it's changed over the years for just a minute or two because this is actually pretty interesting. You go back to the old school, you had the old V-belts and they would actually break after a while and come apart. Right about the 70s, they went with the serpentine neoprene belt. Those lasted a lot longer. One of the nice things about them was when they got worn out, you could actually look at the belt and see all the cracks and it would tell you, hey man, it's time to change me, right? Actually, we've seen, we've seen them in much worse condition than this. So you put that aside, right around 2000, they went with the EPDM style belt. These lasted a lot longer, but the only catch was it was harder to tell when the belt needed to be changed. What you needed to do was get a little tool like this, and then that way you could check it. Yeah, with the neoprene belts, you're, about, you're getting about every 50 to 60,000 miles was time to go ahead and change them. Now with the new EPDM ones, got a lot more wear out, about 80,000 miles. Like Matt was saying though, the wear pattern's hard to see visually, which made the inspection, which makes the inspection a little bit more cumbersome. So that's where this comes into play is the fact that it's hard to see it because it's upside down with a little tool, you can feel it and that's the difference. Right, if you have the new belt right here versus the worn one right here and you've got a little cutaway chunk, sure it's easy to tell the difference between the two, but when it's on the vehicle and you see it like that, yeah, it can be a little bit more challenging. So when you look at this and you lay the tool in, basically we're gonna lay this tool right into the groove. So there's the new belt. We lay that tool on there, you can feel with your thumb there that that's resting right on top of the grooves. You can tell, you can feel the tool. On this old worn belt, you lay that in there and you don't feel a thing. So if it's upside down and you can't see it or you're looking off to the side like that, you don't even know what's in there and that means that it's time to change the belt. Now the problem with having deeper, wider grooves in that EPDM belt is the fact that you're not going to have as much surface area as you have with all those accessories that are being driven off it. Case in point being your alternator. It'll cause it to slip and won't spin as fast as it normally would, won't keep your battery charged. The end result for you and I is the fact that, well, you're stuck on the side of the road with a dead battery. That's never a good thing.